seems very wrong. No, but it's uh, true. It is true. You believe it's true. No, it's true. You know that there's <laughs> physics knowledge <laughs> held by <laughs> aerospace <laughs> companies that is not <laughs> It certainly is material <laughs> which involves <laughs> topological physics. Eric and I had a pretty trippy conversation with the guy that briefs all of the presidents on New York Times, a guy named Hal <laughs> What a disaster. Or was it a decent mashup? I guess we'll find out later. It might have been amusing. It might have been uh, just hideous. I can't yet. I don't know yet. So let's go, uh, go back to where we should be before we got distracted trying to do add some production values, you know? Make it a little bit less boring. I was going to start out here with some nice... Classical music. And somehow I got on looking at the other genres. Got on to the reggae and some other stuff. I thought it was amusing in the end. I don't know. So let's get to the point. And start. And here we are. There's a fair use typical of all of this stuff. This is a little drawing I thought I'd talk about, maybe a 20-minute video. Uh, you know, I'm always tweeting about this and commenting on the YouTube channels and such. So I thought I'd make something simple to visualize for myself even, and others, of course. You. Thank you for being here, by the way. And this thing is linked below. And so is the page it's on. So here it is. It's got some other stuff on there too. And I'm going to go over this point by point. And I would urge you to look at my other stuff here. These other videos on my channel. Please look at those. Because I'm kind of cumulative. I'm sort of assuming you already saw this. By the way, he's right and I'm right. Um, so... Let's go. Let's look at this thing. Uh, but I have these windows set up here for a reason. I'm going to go through them in order for some reason. Which I set up a few days ago. 
and I'm sure it makes as perfect sense as that ridiculous two minutes, which I thought might be funny. I, I don't know. We'll find out later. Uh, what was I got? Okay, look at that. That's my prediction about myself. Ah, ah, what is that? Ah, get that. What is it? Oh, we missed that this week. I was going to premiere that during this, or when this should have been, because I know some of you start jonesing for the APEC on the, every other Saturday. And now I'm going to take a short pause to make sure this is recording right this time. Control P. I'll see you in one minute. Okay, unpaused and rolling. Let's try to get this done, even though it's taken an hour and a half to do a 20-minute video, probably. Uh, you know, I have to do this with more discipline every week or every other week, at least a short one. I plan on doing it. So, I don't screw up like this. Anyway, here we go. We're going to talk about this thing finally here. And it is about light bubbles visualized. So-called anti-gravity, so-called light pumping. You've heard this from me before. Well, what's it look like up close? You know, give me, uh, give me the granularity of it. Okay, here it is. Uh, what is... Okay, we're going to use... If you, you should open this up. It's linked below. Uh, I'm just going to read along with myself. I made this about a month ago, I, I guess. And uh, expound upon what, what I was trying to say. So, how and why a light bubble? What is it? Uh, it's something, you know, I guess I made it made up. So, why don't I explain it? So, let's use graphene with an A for a rough example. Six carbons and six hydrogens. Easy! This is a, a two-dimensional flat thing here. These blacks are carbon atoms, six in a row in a hexagon. These whites are hydrogen. Three on the top for each six, three on the bottom. Perfect. The perfect hydrocarbon, except we're not going to explode this in the way we do other hydrocarbons. We're going to use it to explode, but it's not going to blow apart. The, the atomic structure is not going to blow apart. It's just going to pull in these photons and blow them back out and we're using pink here but it's a you know when you have an explosion you have heat in there and you have pinkish orange and whatnot when you look at a fire red etc and so forth but it explodes quickly why because it's moving at the speed of light why because it's light it's heat visible light and uh, that's that's what we're talking about here to make it easy so what's going on here Okay, we have our little structure here, graphene, which I've just described, and all of a sudden comes in a pinkish photon. And these are all in the energy levels of hydrogen. And you can look all of that up. And, uh, you know, if, that's for hydrogen. If it's hydrogen stuck to graphene, it might be off a few nanometers. Down here, I say <clears throat> approximations, not the scale. This is all rough, rough. But it's right, but it's rough. So here we go with a gigantic, which you can't see it, 656 nanometer pinkish photon. And that squeezes into a 1.1 angstrom hydrogen stuck on a carbon. That's even smaller. As a matter of fact, this thing is supposed to be 6,500 times bigger than this thing. But if we took a pixel here and made that this thing, this thing would have to be uh, uh, three or four times bigger than the screen is. So, a way I like to think about it is, that's a little basketball. Okay, I'm standing there holding that. So are you. This thing is 6,500 feet up in the sky. That's where clouds are and low-flying planes. And this thing is that much deeper down in the earth. Or you're floating in midair. This whole thing here is 13,000 feet. You're holding this little basketball and you're up 6,500 feet. So that's the kind of scales we're talking about. That's what uh, I think is missing in this conversation, like why a warp drive might be improbable. Because the scales of a, of a plank length and the scales of a 
a metamaterial, which that's what this is. You know, it's tough to get one smaller than this. This is the smallest piece of mass there is. It's a, it's a hydrogen and it's still 10 to the 30 zeros bigger than a tiny Planck length, something like that. It's off, it can't reach. It can't, you know, it barely, you have entire galaxies and, uni not universes, but galaxies of gravitons in that little gizmo there, that little hydrogen. So that doesn't make sense. This makes at least some sense, in my opinion. All right. So again, that's the 6,500. You're tight and squeeze. And I mean, it's just all, it squeezes in there because it's the right frequency. And that's tight. So when it blows out, that's how an explosion is. A big thing blowing out of a little thing after it got sucked into the little thing in the first place, which is a lucky coincidence, which is how the universe is set up with these frequencies that allow us to explode things, move, go places, heat our houses, etc., and so forth. So now, step four is, uh, now blowing up on both sides. Okay, I already said that. So, five, do that at every point. You've got layers of light in. Remember, this is 6,500 times bigger. Light in and light out. So this little thing here is surrounded by a thing that's 6,500 times bigger. You're floating in the air at 6,000 feet holding a basketball and you're looking up and down and you have these giant things coming at you. That's how um, you get a layer of light around a thing like a spacecraft or a butterfly wing or something like that or photonic crystals, waveguides, that kind of stuff. At some point the stuff is so small and I'm going to show you in a second this is smaller than air. People like to think, you know, we all, that's normal. Air is a, you know, an air molecule, that's tiny. Well, compared to this, it isn't tiny. An air molecule isn't going to fit in there. And uh, well, I'll show you that in a second. But this light will be around it. It's 6,500 times the, the size. So it's almost time to move on to the little animated GIF that shows you this. So this thing, it's a thing that's blocking air or water. So there's your trans uh, trans transmedium hydrophobic uh, flying triangle gizmos and whatnot. Okay? Very doable. Very achievable. Now it's right here for you to visualize. Got any questions? Hit me on Twitter. Hit me in the comments. Um, and uh, we'll, we'll talk about it. You know, this is my opinion, okay? It's original, so it might be wrong. I understand that. But try me anyway. See how, see how wrong it is. Uh, I already told you about these. That guy, that joke is covered. That's covered. That's the page link below. That we just talked about. Oh, here we are. This, and this, this is how we take this. And making you know you visualize every point every other point on this thing and then you go down one little half an atom it's either on the top every other atom or it's right inside of it all right every point how many trillions of zillions of hydrogen atoms can you fit on a 47 foot thing like this every one of them breathing in and in out and that's only one wavelength you could push that hard enough so you have more wavelengths. It's not 6,500. You put 10 of them in, it's 65,000, whatever it is. And uh, if you put in the right wavelengths, it'll push, it'll literally push the air away. But it has to be the right ones. That, you know, that'll get absorbed in air. Anyway, it could be radio wavelengths, whatever it is. We can look all that up. Like these guys did. They already know that. Their computer's programmed to go right in this air or water and push it away. And there's the light coming in. There's it going through. There's a, there's a little hydrogen for you. And it comes out. Those little atoms are aimed. They can be aimed. And they push it around so you're recycling the same light. And then you're in a big, nice big cozy bubble. You don't even have to keep pulling in and out. 
You're using your own stuff. So, uh, okay. Hopefully you can see how this ties into this. This is one little cell here. These are little atoms. And this shows you, you know, you're supposed to visualize that at every point. But it's hard to do that with my limited, uh, I don't know how you do it with unlimited talents. But anyway, here we are again. Now we're looking at the uh, uh, animated GIF of that, of this thing, of the of this. So we went over this. This tells you all that stuff. And we go through this and it shows you what I, what these little points tell you. There, all right. Well, we're out of order. Okay, that's the end. Here's the beginning. We talked about all this. What all that is. And we're going to go through. It kind of shows you. You're supposed to read that. And uh, then all of a sudden, oh, there it is. There they are at every point. That's the point about every point. That's point number, what, five. So it just shows you that it's all around it. And if your whole skin's like that, it's all around the skin. This shows you the air that's not getting in there. Those things are a little, supposed to be a little bigger, but that's the easy way to put it on there. It's... They're big enough to tell you they're not going through that thing. Especially if these wavelengths will set it on a wavelength that pushes that stuff away. And uh, I, think that's, I think that's the whole point. Uh, let's go through it again. Yeah, you, you know, you have these all around. It's pushing it away. The stuff's not touching it in the first place because it's too, it's too big. These atoms are too big. These next, next, next. All right, I timed these so you could read it. And all right, yeah, these are all too, way too big to go in there, but close enough. That one's too big. That might that looks like it isn't, but it's bigger than that in real life. That's just something copied uh, somewhere. So I think that's the point on that. That's going to be another video I'm going to do right now, I hope, and so is this. Those are two drawings on that same page, but we'll make them separate videos just for the sake of keeping them short. And that question, that's the perennial question, okay? Do you see the light? Uh, these are a bunch of things here. These are linked below in the Twitter moments thing. You just look at them at your own leisure. Take your time slowly. Uh, they're linked at this thing here. And uh, that's just here randomly. That's me thinking, of what the... All right, which tale are you telling this time, huh? That's linked up to, let's say, new uh, Twitter moment. Tall Terror Hurts Tales. There it is right there. I don't know what's going on there. No one does. We'll find out. Meanwhile, huh? So that's the question again. Oh, ha, 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 there's me, ha, ha. Okay. There we go again, huh? Jeez, and again, I was going to try to go out on some music, like come in with a classical. Go out with this. Remind everybody of this. Thank you for visiting. See you in a few, few minutes with another video. Patel, ¿qué opina usted del gobierno de Chávez?